very comfortable to sit in. It's a good chair to, uh, I can watch television and I have my remote. I could put my remote in the side pocket so it doesn't get lost. It's good to put my TV guide, my crossword book, and uh, it's really comfortable. I imagine that, uh, you know, if I have company and I need an extra place to sleep, this would serve its purpose. Very nice. Get a nice pillow that you can lay there, that you can have on your back as lumbar support. Don't forget that pillow. Don't forget you're going to get another pillow indeed. If you have two pillows, there you go. Look at that nice setup. This is a three-in-one chair bed. It comes in a number of colors, and the color that was given to me was red. What we're going to do is open this up, take it out of the box, and it's nicely wrapped, and show you what you get and how to install. After removing all the cardboard, and this is what we have nicely laid out, we have a package that we need to open up to see what's inside. Wheels. Washers, more wheels, screws, bolts, bolts, nuts, more threaded bolts, large plastic washers, and again, more wheels, casters, and the tools and hardware you're going to need to install. The 3-in-1 convertible chair pad comes with instructions that are pretty simple and easy to install. Go over all the products that they're giving to you, the hardware and kits, and check out every single instruction before you install so you can make sure you can do the job correctly yourself. You're going to locate the stickers. This is number B. This is number C. These are S, T2, T1. One wheel, one wheel. With the hex key, you're going to lock in the wheel. Repeat for the other side. L and K consist of a washer and leg, and they're on the side. They go right here, and you got four of them that you're going to simply just lock into place. Put the washer in, align it with the hole, and spin it on. You're looking for three T's and two R's for each, and they're going to go here with the nut facing down and they're going to go in these three holes. The two R is going to go in the back over here. The wrench should fit directly over the nut to tighten down. Ten washers and nuts Q and P. Rectangle is number F it lines up over here like so. Washer and nut. Number A. Align up all three holes the best you can. This is going to sit on the back like so. You're going to put a washer and a nut on all three areas. You're going to take the actual unit here. You're going to lift up and you're going to align the holes. And you're going to lock in all the nuts and washers underneath here. All your bolts and everything over here. And if you're uncertain about your rollers, we can always get back to them later. We're ready to switch and turn our little bed over. And there we have almost looking like a bed. Don't worry about that noise. It is supposed to make some noise and it's going to slide on a slippery floor. There you go. This is G's and girl. This is S1 and these are the washers. Please pay attention that this faces up, that the narrow end faces down over here. And you're going to put a washer and you're going to get your Allen key and you're going to put all four on. Exactly like this. This is HR. The two long ends over here. The 90 degree over here when you open it up. This is what it's going to look like. And it's going to go this way. Like so. The HL. The same exact thing. Washer 
bolt, lift up, place on best way you can for you. You're going to get your washer and bolt. You're going to get this hole to the center. You're going to start one. You're going to lift up and repeat for the other two the same way. With the T1 on this side, two of them and then a T2. S and Q's, you got your holes here, number D, they're going to go on this plate here. Do your best to line up each of the holes the best you can. Grab S and grab Q and grab the wheel called number J. If you don't want to peel these stickers off, just put them in on the inside with the nut. And you're going to repeat this for all four corners, two washers and two bolts with the hex key. Once you get this all on there, these are your wheels. Simply just tighten down. It's really that simple. Give a little crank on the uh, angle like so and repeat for all other corners. We're almost done. <laughs> go. Now how this works is, is by clicking system. Press it in forward, you hear the click, it goes down, locks into place. Lift it up, stays in that position once, again, again, and again. Don't have to pull it all the way back. We're going to show you how this opens up. You're going to grab the bottom the best you can, lift up, there is a pull tab, you pull out, you lift up as far as it can go, and there you have a recliner. This is a recliner that has one position, and if you push up to lock it into place, it's a 90 degree. If you open it up one more time, it lays down flat, and there you go. If you want to just uh, lift it up some so you can have some more headroom, you can do so. So here it is, a nice comfortable recliner that you can simply sit back, relax, and watch TV, put the pillow behind your head, and enjoy your three-in-one. When you're all done and you want to finish, grab the pull string all the way up, sit it in place, push in, and there you go. Now you do need to have some space in the back, some room so you can fold this down, and so forth. And that's the comfort of the chair. There you go. It can act as a bed for somebody. It could be a very comfortable chair for anyone. I hope you uh, can see how nice and comfortable. Again, this is. It has a side pocket that you could put anything in and enjoyable. I hope you enjoy your chair if this is right for you.